Hi and welcome to a new video. Are you looking for specific photos from WhatsApp but it seems that you have already deleted them? In this video, I will guide you through different methods to get back those deleted WhatsApp photos or videos on your iPhone. Let's go. There are four different methods you can try to recover your deleted WhatsApp photos or videos. These methods include using the Photos app natively, recovering from an iCloud or iTunes backup, or restoring the leftover data on your iPhone. Let's start by using the Photos app. Note that this only works if you previously configured your WhatsApp attachments to automatically save to your gallery. To check, open WhatsApp and proceed to the Settings tab. Navigate to the Chats menu and see if Save to Camera Roll is activated. If so, it means that you can easily restore your deleted WhatsApp photos from your gallery natively. Open the Photos app on your iPhone. Go to Albums, locate the WhatsApp folder, and see if it contains the media files you're looking for. You can also take a look at the recently deleted folder. This will allow you to restore deleted photos if you have removed them from your gallery. Next, check to see if you've backed up your WhatsApp data to the cloud. Open WhatsApp and go to the Settings tab. Access the Chats menu and tap on Chat Backup. The date of your last backup determines which files are available for recovery. Be careful not to click Backup Now as this will overwrite the old backup. If your files get deleted after they've been backed up, you can easily restore them to your iPhone. To do this, delete and then reinstall WhatsApp. Once reinstalled, open WhatsApp and enter your registered number. If a backup is detected, the application will automatically prompt you to restore from it. The only disadvantage is that you will lose new files and chats created after the backup. To avoid this, you can use third-party software instead. I will show you how it works later in the video. On the other hand, if both iCloud Photos and iCloud Backup are disabled on your device, try restoring from your iTunes Backup instead. Assuming, of course, that you have created a backup prior to deleting your files. On your computer, you can use iTunes if you're on Window or Finder if you're on Mac. Then, connect your iPhone to your computer using an original or an MFI certified cable. When prompted, tap Trust on your iPhone to confirm the connection between the devices. Once connected, you can review the details of your most recent backup in the Backup section. If the time frame matches the data you need, click the Restore iPhone button to restore your device from the backup. However, please note that this method will result in a complete reset of your iPhone, reverting it to the state specified by the backup date. If you prefer to recover your WhatsApp files without affecting the rest of your device, you'll need specialized software designed for this purpose. As another alternative, simply using a third-party tool to recover your WhatsApp data. Personally, I recommend iMyPhone Chats Back. This software is specifically designed to recover WhatsApp data on your device, even if you don't have a backup. It conveniently scans your iPhone for leftover data and restores files directly from an iCloud or iTunes backup. For your reference, you can find the download link in the tag in the upper right corner or below in the description box. This tool is available for both Windows and Mac. Choose the appropriate OS before clicking the download button to try it out. Although the software has a paid version, scanning your iPhone for recoverable data is completely free. So, you can check if the data you need is still on your iPhone without paying for the software yet. Upon downloading, follow the on-screen instructions to install Chatsback on your computer. After installation, connect your iPhone to your computer using an original or an MFI certified cable. On your iPhone, enter your device passcode when prompted and click Trust to confirm the connection. Chatsback provides four different options to recover your WhatsApp data. You can recover the leftover files from your device storage, backup stored in Google Drive and iTunes, or history records consisting of the combined data from iTunes or iCloud backup. Let's try the first option and click Start. 
Choose the specific type of WhatsApp service you use and confirm with OK. The software will then go through a series of scans. Keep the device connected and re-enter your device passcode when prompted. Take note that the scan time depends on the amount of recoverable data. Once the scan is complete, both WhatsApp chats and WhatsApp attachments are individually available for recovery. Check Select All to recover them all together. You can also tick each checkbox to selectively choose which chats or certain attachment file types you want to recover. After selecting, you have two available options. Click Recover to Device if you want to restore your data directly to your iPhone right away, or choose Recover to PC if you want to export the data to an external file. As I've mentioned earlier, the free trial version of Chats Back is limited to scanning your data. A subscription is required to continue with the recovery process. If nothing helps, it can only mean that your files are already permanently deleted. In this case, it is simply not possible to recover them anymore. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.